What is character encoding and why is it matters? If you don't specify what character encoding you use, then everything except basic English language could be displayed like this. Neither users nor search engines are able to understand this text. That's why it is so important to choose the right encoding. Character encoding tells the computer how to interpret a binary code into real characters. Words and sentences in text are created from characters and these characters are grouped into a character set, also called a repertoire. These characters are stored in the computer as one or more bytes. A character encoding provides a key to unlock the code. So when you input text, the characters are mapped to specific bytes in computer memory, and then they are read back again to be displayed as text. Once the browser figure out the characters, it will look then for glyphs it can use to display them. A collection of glyph definitions makes up a font. As a developer, choose the UTF-8 character encoding for your content. UTF-8 is the dominant international encoding of the web. Before, different organizations have assembled different sets of characters and created encodings for them. One set may cover just Latin-based Western European languages, for example Greek, another may cover a particular Far Eastern language, such as Japanese. And although you may use those encodings for a particular language, it is usually impossible to combine different encodings on the same web page. You cannot encode different parts of an HTML document in different encodings. The Unicode Consortium provides a large single character set that includes all the characters needed for any language in the world. It supports many languages, including ancient scripts. This greatly simplifies things and removes the need to track and convert between various character encodings. This Unicode encoding assigns each character a unique number or code point. And although there are three different Unicode character encodings – UTF-8, UTF-16 and UTF-32 – only UTF-8 should be used for web content. And although there are some disadvantages too, especially in Asian languages, as UTF-8 might use significantly more space and not all code points have the same size, which makes measurements more difficult, so for aging languages UTF-16 is more compact. However, over 93% of all web pages use UTF-8. And although it is a default option in code editors, nowadays as a content author you can always check what encoding your editor or scripts are saving text in and save text in UTF-8.